didn't close with the events. What do you want him to take from a game like this where kind of on both sides of the ball that doesn't cut the direction he wants it to cut? He made a mistake today. He's human. To move on would be kind of my message there. Yeah. Did, he, did he talk to you about the ball in the first inning? Is it the rain and the wind all part of that as well? I didn't even make anything of it. He made an error. Won't be the last one he makes either. Yeah. How about Lance today? How effective he was? Yeah, Lance uh, definitely fought through it. Conditions weren't great, and he embraced it. Um, fell behind certain guys, but still used the curveball and the cutter to keep him in it, and he, he battled through it, did a really nice job, got some defensive swings. Um, I thought he did a really nice job. I really do. Uh, you could either look at that and say, man, it's raining, and kind of go through it that way or just embrace it. And he, I mean, he loved being out there. So I like what we saw out of him today. When you have an offense that's struggling to collectively to go in the way that it is right now, does that underscore the emphasis of the need for everything on the Everything else to go play perfectly while Yeah, that's why you usually either the bullpen takes the heat or a guy makes a mistake and we immediately want to point it out. Um, but the reality is we've been in every game we've played for the most part and our offense isn't feeling real great about where they're at. And that's just the reality. Um, I think that'll change. Um, but yeah, you nitpick the, the rest of what's going on based on that. It's kind of human nature. I'm not sure how encouraged are you with Nolan getting that big hit up the middle to, to drive in a run that he's, he's getting closer. Yeah, and he that's what he needs, a couple of those to get going and feeling good about it. I mean, it's not a lack of work, I'll tell you that. And this guy's getting after it. And um, he's going to figure out a way to get back to where he feels comfortable in, in the box and doing what he does, which is damage. Yeah. What were the conditions like? I just could see the slip and slides, but balls in the air, there were some yeah, at certain times, rain was coming down pretty good, and it's just sloppy out there, but it's for both sides, and it's just a matter of playing through it and figuring out a way to um, want to be out there during those conditions. I felt like our guys actually did a good job of that. Made a couple mistakes, but that, that happens. I like the mentality behind it, at least. Yeah. Where did you say you see Zach make strength to get the results, obviously? Got yeah, he did a really nice job. Came in there and, I mean, landed his stuff, threw strikes, curveball was good, um, gave us what we needed. Um, we were short in our pen today, so he did a really nice job of, of bridging us to, to Kittredge there to give us a shot down one. Yeah. With the and just that, the power that he that, that, that aspect of his power so you guys could kind of see that was going to prevent Yeah, before he got here, we heard a decent amount about it, and then we were able to see it at times last year. But uh, did a really nice job during spring. He came in ready, and he's uh, shown just really professional at bats. He's done a really nice job offensively, and he's doing a good job behind the plate. But um, homers, doubles, part of his game. But he just takes a really good pro at bat. Yeah. Not sure what the specific specifics of evaluating your team is to this point, but would you say you guys are maybe ahead of expectations, have met expectations, or maybe beneath expectations from your, from your perspective? Oh, no, there's some games we'd like to have capitalized on up to this point. I think the guys are playing good baseball. We're playing um, good defense. Uh, I'm happy with where we're at on the bases. Uh, our pitching has done a really nice job. Our starters have given us length and, and done their part, our bullpen. Um, I really like where our pen's at from a rolls standpoint. And uh, offensively, we're, we're going to fight through it and, and get to where we need to get to. But um, that's just a matter of time. What do you yeah. see from our rolls right now? It seems like the more bats the same as we've always seen. The guy takes a good at bat, hits the ball hard. Uh, um, a lot of them get caught. He's uh, in a better place mentally where he's not letting it get to him, but he's continuing to just take a really good at bat and, and keep finding barrels. Um, if you look at today's game, we actually hit the ball really hard um, often, and it was right at people, um, some of them on the ground, but still good contact. And uh, on the other side of it, some balls got through. Palante's inning, I mean, three ground balls, just not at people. Uh, we hit some balls pretty hard right at some guys today, so it's just part of the game. What does it say about him, too? You said he's been getting better with that mindset, but also to have a couple that were also almost caught today. What does that do for him you know, to be finally getting some uh, the numbers are starting to follow? Yeah, he puts a lot of balls in play, and a lot of them are on the line, and some of them are at people, and he's getting to the point where he understands that he can't 
base his day on just the result, but like, did you do your part once he leaves the bat? There's nothing you can do about it, but he's taking good at bats, hitting the ball hard, and hitting him on the line, and take it from there. Yeah. Uh, last year, one of the things you guys all talked about was falling behind early. Would sometimes make the offense try to do uncharacteristic things or try to force the issue. Are you seeing with the offense kind of searching a little bit right now? Are you seeing that he stay true? Yeah, I don't see any of, of that at the moment. Um, it's more of just stringing together quality at bats. I, I think when you look at how our guys have fought back and still climb and, and getting within one there, I, I feel good about it. Um, it's just a matter of the power's not there right now. Uh, we had two homers today. But um, for the most part, our guys aren't feeling where they want to be. And um, I think we'll get there. But no, there's not a sense of what you described as last year, trying to do too much, falling behind or anything like that. I don't, I don't see that as the case. The other day, Victor's maturity, his calmness, his confidence can help him get through sure. rough times. And this game's obviously really hard, but does that help him kind of you know, get over the tough stretches he goes through? Yeah, and that's part of when you bring him up here, you want to make sure that he's ready emotionally to handle um, some of the ups and downs, and specifically the downs. And uh, we, we felt like he was mature enough to do that, and he has up to this point. In what ways can having the day off tomorrow help? some of the hitters that are trying to find their, their offense? Yeah, sometimes just not looking at video and not taking a swing is a good thing. And tomorrow, we'll make sure those two things happen. Yeah. Oh, you talked a lot about Zach's velocity. What, what do you take from the amount of swing and miss he was able to get today with the V-Logan, where it's probably been a couple of times? His secondary stuff, he's landing it. He's been able to throw it where he wants to. He can steal strikes with it. He can expand with it once he gets into his counts and, and get swing and miss. Um, but it's more confidence and, and trust in the secondary stuff has allowed him to do that. Yeah. What, kind of, what kind of style of game wins on a day like today? Gritty. I mean, you got to want to be out there. And I felt like our guys actually wanted to be out there. Um, we just lost. Yeah. It's one thing when you give a game away. I, I don't feel like we've given a whole lot away this year. And that's what I feel good about. The guys are answering the bell. They're going hard. And there's certain games you're going to lose today. We got beat. Um, that's fine. We made a mistake in the first. It led to extra pitches, but that's going to happen. I feel like our guys embraced the, the weather, went out there and took their shot, came up short. Now that you've gotten that first home stand out of the way, going back on the road, is there any messaging of how to approach these next couple series on the road? No, our guys have a pretty good idea of who they are and what allows them to win, and we'll just continue to do that. Yep, you're welcome.